Alrighty, so uh, yeah, welcome back from the holidays. I hope you enjoyed yours. I know I enjoyed mine. Uh, right off the bat, I spent most of the past two weeks essentially doing isolation intensives. Um, every exercise I could find to teach myself isolations on any online forum I could find that mentioned them, I started doing it. Um, one of the most helpful things I actually found is this right here. I don't know if you guys can see it that well, but it's, uh, it's a piece of black tape put right in the center of the poi. And what it does is when you're practicing your isolations, it actually gives you a visual aid around which your hand in the poi should be rotating, like, uh, like a hub or something, right? So that has actually been a huge, huge help in the past two weeks, more so than I can possibly describe at this point, actually. And hopefully, you can see in the video, it's reflecting as having helped me out quite a bit. So, um, yeah, in addition to that, I've been doing the lovely Nick Woolsey approach of uh, doing it like you're stirring a can of soup from above and then bring it up into wall plane which I'm still not convinced is actually that helpful, but I'm still willing to give it a shot. So, um, beyond that, I've been doing the Spinnegar Guys drill, which is just, you box up your forearm in front of you, and uh, bring the poi on the inside, and you practice turning it around like this, such that your wrist forms the hub of whatever wheel the poi head and your hand are on opposite sides of. And uh, my own exercise, which has just been to take all the basic four combinations of motion and practice spinning the poi in all of them. So for example, same time, same direction. This one actually gave me a lot of problems when I first started it. Um, the reverse of that, of course, because after all, what would our exercises be if we didn't do it in both ways? And of course, the uh, same direction split time that most people know and love when it comes to isolations, which is actually not looking that bad these days. I'm, I'm, I'm getting closer to the point where I think I'm happy with this. And the tape is definitely a huge help with that because it's helping me visualize, you know, where should the axle be that you can imagine running through both of these poi to make a wheel. And the reverse, which of course is not really looking as pretty, but it's still coming along. And then of course there are the opposites. And I've been handling this exactly like the hybrid practices where I've been, you know, practicing them in each position and turning with them. So, oops, man. Apparently, I need some more practice with that. So, opposite, same time, and opposite split time. At the same time, opposite time. I'll just check the tape and see if it actually comes out looking that way. In addition to the standard hybrid turns, I've been rocking for about a month now, which I'm actually getting pretty comfortable with these. And I'm finding I'm better able to uh, integrate the ideas of them into my flow. So, um, in addition to that, I've begun working on uh, all the four combinations of directions for Kata as well. Maybe, uh, so you got your opposites at the same time. You got your opposites split time. Which I actually gonna have to do in a V right now. 
because these are long enough that I keep hitting myself. And of course, there's the uh, same direction, same time. Still getting acclimated. These are a lot longer points than I used to use it. And uh, the uh, same direction split time, which I still can't pull off for more than a couple. Oops. A couple times at a go. But one day, my friends. Aside from that, the only other uh, kind of techie thing I've been playing with is uh, so Lucas came up with a really interesting kind of staff inspired 1.5 move a few weeks ago that basically breaks down like this. It is so it's uh, 1.5 going forward with your left hand on top. You stall it out here, and you bring it back with your left hand on top still as it goes over your head. And as it goes over your head, you very quickly crank it back around into an arc on the bottom. So it's forward left on top, reverse left on top, and then forward right on top as it comes back over your head. And you really have to work to make sure you get that transition in there quickly. So, I actually, uh, this is the second take I've done in this video, and part of the reason is because when I first demoed this move, I realized I was switching it up, such that my right hand was the only one going over my head. So, I think both of these look cool. I recommend you try playing around both of them. Yes. So, uh, yeah, that's all for this week. Really quick shameless plug, um, I have been working on the committee for an inauguration ball on January 20th. This one's for artists and burners. Going to be a whole bunch of fire dancing, DJs, etc. there. So uh, if you are looking to be in the Washington, D.C. area for inauguration, that's January 20th. Take a look at, uh, well, look us up. We're at artists-ball.org. And uh, there's still plenty of tickets to be sold. So uh, please come join us out here. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.